Hello Flustube, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you what new designs have landed in my cross-stitch stash. I have quite a number of um, kits. Uh, lately I don't buy so many kits, but uh, this time there are some which I uh, gathered, I would say. So first of all, what you can see, I have uh, two dimension kits. Uh, this one, the Woodland Deer, uh, it's not rare, it's not out of production. I bought it from uh, one to three stitch. It's just um, in uh, my wish list on one to three stitch. I have um, I have quite a big, uh, quite a long <laughs> wish list, and uh, there are a few dimensions which I still would like, uh, but. Um, I buy them only when they are on sale. So if I go into my wish list and I see that one of the dimensions is on sale, I buy it. So this is the case of this one. It was on sale and I bought it. I like it very much. I saw it being stitched. It's a very beautiful design. Um, I am sure that when stitching this one, I'm going to change the Aida into at least even with, if not linen, because of the um, uh, Aida is 14th count and it's, it's, how do I say, it's not so nice. A lot of colors, by the way, it's just one organizer and there are a lot of colors, but not a lot of strands for each color, because it's not a lot of stitching. Usually in this uh, not gold collection, it's not a lot of stitching, but the design is extremely beautiful. Uh, I fell in love with this design only when seeing it stitched, not because of the preview, you know? And the second design, yes, according to the packet, you probably understand that this is a rare out of production design. And yes, this is a design which I wanted a lot. This is Sweet Nectar. I wanted a lot this design. I was like looking for it for in the past few months, I would say intensely, because buying it for almost $200, it wasn't my case. I wanted it cheaper <laughs> and I was like hunting it, found it very happy it's a very beautiful design a lot of stitchers stitch it, stitch it it's a very beautiful one so this is the content it's 18 count aida um i would say it's cream and these are the threads beautiful very beautiful i don't know when i'm going to start it but knowing myself and uh, already my um how they say um tradition of uh, starting the very wanted uh, designs uh, like immediately i don't know why it's like you know when you want something very very much you buy it and you you let's say about a, a dress for example a very expensive designer dress you want it a lot you buy it but you don't wear it because it's very expensive because it's not appropriate for this one for that one so this would be the case of these designs like the ones which are out of production which are hard to find which cost like more than they used to cost in their good times and you're buying it and you're putting it in your stash and looking at it. Oh, I have this design. Mm, I noticed that it's not my case. And, and I'm glad. Honestly, I'm glad. So these are the two uh, dimension uh, kits which came into my um, stash. The next I wanted to show you is uh, seven uh, kits by Zhang Lin. Yes, seven. <laughs> the thing is that I was looking for four, for a series of four, but meanwhile I found three more, which I also wanted and which I could find for a decent price because all of these designs are out of production and the charts themselves, yes, you can buy at, again, Cooler Design Studio. So, what I was looking for actually is these four designs, seasonal designs by Sandy Wharton. Uh, they are samplers, seasonal samplers which I have seen being stitched on eBay, on YouTube for in the past, I don't know, few years. I like them very much. And uh, when I found one of them being sold on our eBay for a very good price, I just bought that one and I decided probably the time came to purchase this uh, series. So I was, um, in my case, they were not bought from one um, uh, seller because there are sellers who sell all of them, but I bought like from UK eBay, from US eBay. So I tried to find them decent, good prices for them because surprisingly, but their price is going higher and higher. Okay, so what I have here, this is uh, winter. 
I like we did. I know that they are not easy designs to be stitched. It, they are time consuming because there are many colors. There are um, there is a lot of backstitch. As far as I understood from the other stitches, backstitch is killing you here. But the result is very very beautiful. So I like it a lot, a lot. Uh, all of them have uh, the same uh, color of fabric. The fabric is Aida, and I'm going to change it for at least even weave, but I think it's going to be even weave because uh, it's 14th count and I don't like how the 14th count Aida looks like when uh, it's not entirely stitched, you know, when you can see this Aida, I don't like the, the effect. That's why I'm going to change it. So this one is sealed, it was not opened, and these are the threads. This one, autumn, by the way, this one was the first I purchased from like our eBay and it had a very good price, mostly I think because it doesn't have fabric. But knowing that I'm not going to stitch on the Aida, I didn't care that there isn't fabric here. That's why I still bought it. And this is how, this is uh, one of my favorites. So my favorite favorite, this is autumn, then comes winter, <laughs> then comes the, the next. I, I adore this one. Maybe because I like uh, autumn as, as a season. I love it. But it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. Then it's spring. This one also was purchased from this, from UK eBay. So the threads themselves. You see the Aida is the same everywhere. And here is the cheeks. The bunny who is driving the egg one car, <laughs> the number plates. There are so many details here, you know, it's like, I, I think it's going to be a great pleasure to stitch it. And uh, I promised myself that when I'm going to start this one, I'm going to, to stitch it like uh, slowly. I am ready to stitch one design, for example, one season. I mean, like spring for stitch, to stitch it in two years in a row, you know, like uh, stitching half of it in one season, half of it in, in the second, like spring season. But I wouldn't stitch it quickly just to finish it. I would stitch it to enjoy the designs because these are designs to be enjoyed. And summer. I think this one was the last, this was the last one I bought. Again, look at the details. This cap, hollyhocks, Independence Day, cherries and like a piece of basket for picnic probably, sunflower, camping. Nice, really nice. I'm just in love with this design. And uh, while looking for this free, I uh, bought two more <laughs> for a very good price. So uh, it wasn't like, um, how they say, intentional, but I found them and I love these designs. I knew about them. It's not like uh, I didn't know about the designs. And when I saw the good price, I said, okay, this is it. I'm going to buy them. So one of the designs, this is coffee and tea. And I was looking at it. I, I told myself that if I'm not going to find them, design the kit itself i'm going to buy a chart from uh, color design studios but i found the kit i like this one also comes in the same color for either you see if i want very much i don't know the um, size of the um, aida but i can take this one this aida for water if i want to stitch the uh, those four on aida but i don't think so um there is one more um wine and cheese i think it's called uh, it's kind of similar i like that one as well but uh, i found just one and it was 70 dollars i think and i thought it's too much for for such a such a kit and um i'm not going to stitch it like immediately i didn't decide that i wanted to stitch it 100 percent. so if i'm going to find that kit for a decent price i'm going to buy the kit if not, and I would want to stitch the design, probably I'll buy it from Color Design Studio. I mean the, the chart. And the second one, uh, this is Harvest Sampler. This is Marie Barber, 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 I don't know how correctly to say. And this is a design uh, which is in Marie's Barber's 
um, book I showed previously this book because in that book there is the apple orchard uh, chart apple orchard I stitched also by uh, or from uh, Jeanlin um, kit and uh, I bought that um, book because I found it for three pounds I think like locally and I wanted the book because besides that apple orchard there are many more designs there I showed you all the book I showed you the book the designs I'll try to leave uh, the uh, link in the info box of the book where I show of the video where I showed that book and you'll see what other charts are in that book so um, it works the book worth the the money if you find it for little money because you can stitch a lot of beautiful things from that design so from that book sorry so in that book uh, i said that uh, after apple orchard this design this harvest sampler would be the second one which i am going which i am go which i am ready to stitch like 100 percent i'm ready to stitch and uh, yeah i was ready to stitch from <laughs> that um from that book when i found it on ebay again it was a very good price so for that price the even even the threads if i would buy the chart from uh, no i have a chart i did not don't have which buy the chart so if i would buy the threads and the uh, even weave i would go like uh, the same price but i'm sure that it would have been higher than this kit and by the way there is one thing about the jean designs the threads which are present here uh, they are not DMC for sure. They are not DMC because um, if you are to compare, they write the DMC um, number of that thread. But if you would um, compare it with uh, the thread card you have at uh, home, you'll see that not all. Some of them, yes, they have the same color, but some of them, no, they they are not, and some of them differ quite a lot. I would say. Some of them a little, but some of them a lot. So if I have the possibility to stitch the design in Jeanlin original kit, I would choose original kit from Jeanlin and not the chart from Cooler Design Studio with the DMC number of threads. At least this is my, my personal choice. So when I have the opportunity to buy these kits for good price, I mean like a very good price, which would be the price of the threads and the <laughs> fabric which is inside i'm buying straight away so not without thinking about it okay and uh, one more jean this one was bought from the local ebay because i saw it well, so i like the design this is um this is uh, a view from the window uh this is uh, nancy rossi and uh, i like the design a lot um again I was ready to buy the, um, how do I say, the um, Cooler Design uh, Studios um, chart when the time will come to stitch this design, if it would come. But when seeing it on local eBay for, like it was auction, but it went for a very little price. And I won the auction, I said, okay, this design should be in my stash. And uh, one more kit, which is, um, single so it doesn't have any brothers or sisters this is needle treasures uh northern light needle treasures uh, is a brand which uh, is not produced anymore i think as janine janine is the same so um, i was looking at this design for a few time now and uh, finally decided to buy it decided to buy it because i like it a lot i don't know i don't know why so maybe because of its form maybe because of its colors i mean form how the uh little um how do you say designs because there are five designs here they are arranged i think there are five yeah nice very nice so it's aida here 14th count and the threads which come like this not very arranged even if the design is sealed but the threads look like this so yes i hope the time will come and i will stitch this one as well as i liked it a lot and uh lastly what i wanted to show you these are um, two charts which more or less one of them it's fully completed with everything so i can start stitching this design anytime and one of them needs uh, a few things but um, i'm going to buy them before stitching at least this is my decision 
So um, one of the designs, this is Stony Creek design. This is Jubilee Welcome. I saw it being stitched and I fell in love with this design deeply, deeply. <laughs> and first what I, so this design is being like um, put together for quite a long time for I think a year, maybe more, because um, I don't have the intention of stitching it straight away. That's why while buying something else, step by step, little by little, I was adding uh, all the things I uh, I need. So uh, um, first I bought the chart, then I started looking for what I needed. Um, the um, fabric, which is recommended here, this is um, Little Boy Bloom. This is a fabric which is out of production. This is Cashel. Um, I was ready, honestly, to stitch it uh, either one white, uh, antique white uh, um, fabric or an ice blue. But uh, due to the fact that I found the original one, it uh, makes me, of course, even happier. Uh, then uh, the design uh, can be stitched in DMC or Anchor. I will stitch it in DMC as I have the DMC, uh, like, color palette all of them that's why i don't have even have them here because when the time comes i'm just going to take the bobbins with the colors i need and i'm going to stitch it but the speciality um, special threads which i don't have like on my usual like thing i i bought so um here i needed four colors of cranic this is silk mori milk paint at least I found them on one to free stitch. There wasn't a problem to purchase them. Uh, then it's needed thread works. This is pit moss. They don't write here the color, but just throw the right the number. So this one, very nice one. And there is the gentle art mint jubilee. Also such a nice color. Uh, two cranics. So this is uh, both a blending filaments. So this is. 032 blending filament and this is 100 blending filament and um, a few treasures and um, how to say the embellishment pack so um, uh, crystal treasures 13001 so crystal EB uh, needed I had them in my stash didn't buy this ones had them in my stash bought them for another design which I didn't want to stitch anymore and there are such um, charms. There is such a uh, bird house charm with a bird. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. It's very nice. I like this one a lot, a lot. And according to the key, uh, there are two um, dragonflies, and they come in gold. And here they are in gold. But when buying the embellishments, I thought that um, you know, like. Um, this one, the crystal treasures are uh, crystal AB. Uh, this one comes in silver. So I thought that maybe the gold uh, uh, dragonflies wouldn't look very, how do they say, very at home. So here are the golden dragonflies where they should be. And here is the uh, charm with the bird house. And uh, when buying the gold ones uh, in stock, they had the um, uh, silver ones so because they are according to the key and I bought the silver ones as well so when attaching the charms like uh, this is going to be in the end of stitching the work I will decide which one will go the gold or the um, the uh, silver ones so um, yeah uh, and uh, there is uh, needed also uh, two kind of beads petite seed bead black they will come as the eyes of the uh, birds see the eyes of the birds but i have them in stash i, I have this beads in stash and also uh, mill hill uh, beads they are kind of baby blue color they come as the uh, buds of the flowers here and they also have them in stash that color so a few beads are needed and i have these beads in my stash that's why i didn't take them from that stash and put them here because when the time comes i'm just going to take from them from there and stitch so yes this design makes me extremely happy that i i, I already made managed to put it together i like this um, way of um, how to say filling in completing uh, putting together the chart so when i when i like a chart and um i try not to how do i say 
not not to want to stitch it immediately because this makes you to be in a rush to buy the materials for a um, how to say for uh, not such a good price um, you are buying from places where you have to pay more for the postage at least this is how it works in my case but when I'm buying for example I have like three four five charts and I say okay I need this 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 and this I usually write the components I have to 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 buy and when I'm buying for example from a shop yes I want something which is on discount which I was looking for and um, in order not to pay the postage just for that thing I am starting okay what do they have in stock okay they have Cranix is it uh, the price is uh, okay it's standard for Cranix yes it is which Cranix do I need this this and this okay let me buy two or three Cranix let me buy I don't know two or three hand dyed uh, threads at least this is how it works in my case and um, the charts are being completed like slower, but uh, I don't feel how they say it. I don't feel that I, I'm spending money on it. <laughs> this is how I, I try to like believe. And uh, one more chart. This is lavender and lace. Uh, this is uh, morning uh, angel of of the morning. Um, I'm not attracted. Uh, of uh, stitching uh, angels, honestly, because probably you noticed that I haven't been stitching angels by themselves. And uh, Lavender and Lace has a lot of angels and a lot of cross stitchers stitch them. And I like how they look, but it's just the fact that I am not attracted to stitch them, that's it. Until one day uh, when um, a very beautiful, um, how they say, um, very nicely photo <laughs> photos, uh, made me uh, like take the decision of like uh, starting to buy the the design. So I saw the um, I saw this angel being stitched in uh, on YouTube. I saw photos of it. So I I started liking it. I liked it, but I didn't have the um, how do I say the firm decision that yes, I want to stitch it. And I remember that uh, on Instagram somebody placed photos very nicely made very nicely made like with the details and i said okay this is it i want to stitch this, this angel because this one is very beautiful uh found a site where the chart uh, you know there are, there are sites which show you the materials because they sell the materials so they are interested in selling like the chart the fabric the threads for this uh, so i opened there the materials and i saw that they it requires uh, needle paints threads I have needle paint threads, but I have uh, them for other designs. Looked into my stash and realized that I don't have the needle paints uh, for this design. Or I, I had one, don't remember, didn't, didn't have. So okay, it needs needle paint, but they can be replaced with Rainbow Gallery. And that's it. Like I didn't buy the chart, didn't buy anything. And like in two or three days, absolutely randomly, I saw it in a in an online cross stitch shop selling them selling them for their price like not overpriced. Uh, they had all. I went back to that site which uh, were um, li which was listing the numbers of the threads, and uh, the uh, shop had them all. And I said, okay, this is a sign. <laughs> this is a sign. I bought the threads, then I bought the chart. Uh, then um, when the chart came, I looked for the materials and I decided to buy the fabric. So this is the Belfast Bruce, Blue Spruce. I bought the fabric. And um, besides the DMC threads, which I said that I have a full, like, uh, full stash of DMC threads. But okay, I have them. But when I'm pulling them out for a design and I see that there are like two or three colors which have a little, of course, I order more. So it doesn't mean that I am not buying DMC. When I say that I have DMC, it means that I have them like on my bobbins. But if I have to buy more, I buy more. Okay, so it needs also Rainbow Gallery, PB, uh, Petit Treasure. Um, PB01, PB03, these are golds and I have them. And uh, PB11, it's needed for backstitch as far as I understand. And I haven't bought it yet. Maybe this is going to be the card for, with thread which I'm going to buy next. There are three colors of Mill Hills, out of which two I know for sure that I have in my uh, stash. I have to look for the third one. So um, I didn't buy all of them, but the rest of it, it's not a lot. So the most important things I think I have. 
this is the thing haven't decided when to start it yet i know i know that i'm going to stitch it difficultly because um it's on dark uh, thread most probably i'm going to stitch it during uh, summertime uh, i noticed that uh, the bright uh, light which is uh, in summertime it helps me to stitch on the dark uh, um, threads i don't stitch a lot on dark threads if you notice because it's difficult for me i don't know why but it's difficult i don't have such bad eyesight it's not perfect but it's not bad at all but still i don't don't i cannot do it like uh, nicely okay and uh, the face is going to be stitched in uh, one over one as far as i know so yeah when the time comes, I'm going to, to stitch it for sure because this is a very beautiful design. And so far, this is the only angel which made me buy the materials and be ready to stitch it. So far, I haven't like uh, uh, decided to buy any other angels from, I mean, like lavender and lace. And that's it. So these are all the new things which appeared in my stash. I hope you enjoyed watching them. Maybe you inspired yourself of buying something else. I often have the comments uh, after such videos that, oh, you come again with like your newly purchased things which make me buy as well. Um, I don't know your attitude mm, to this um, cross-stitch purchases, but for me, they bring joy, honestly, because um, I'm working from home uh, and uh, this means that I'm not doing a lot of um, um, clothes uh, shopping because I don't need them so many and I don't need the smart clothes, you know, because once upon a time I used to work in the office and of course I had a lot of like high heel shoes and blouses and you know what I mean. So now I'm not spending money, so much money on clothes and um, the interest in buying uh, clothes, it disappeared. So it's not like it was years ago. Um, and that uh, pleasure of <laughs> buying uh, clothes probably in my case switched to cross stitch because cross stitch shopping for me it's a very nice thing I like finding things, I like hunting something, I like finding new designs so for me it's it's a thing I like a lot so <laughs> yeah it's a thing I like a lot so um, yes that's it for today I hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next videos until then bye bye